Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're going to take the Harkness Sesto Elemental in the live racing. I only have two of my stage 6 parts fitted on this currently. I think I added the nitrous and the transmission if I remember correctly. Hopefully it drives good like this and beats Dino. We'll find out in a minute. So we got the wild card going and... I changed my name to D-Winner because I plan on trying to win every race. Why did I pick D-Winner? I don't know. Something goofy to do. Okay, connection failed. If I keep having problems with this game, I think I'm going to uninstall the game and reinstall it because I've been having a big problems with connection errors and the game actually freezing either before or after I cross the finish line. Sometimes when you're having major issues, all you got to do is uninstall and reinstall. But anyways... I love this car. Yeah, it actually runs really good like this. Let's see what dyno time we got. Not dyno time, let's see what final time we got. 9.166. Not bad. With the 70% wild card going, I got a 2,124 respect point win. That's not bad. I'm just going to try and win as many races as possible and collect as much respect points as possible today. So I'm out to win. I'm not swapping. We're trying to beat everybody. All right. We're going to go ahead and challenge this car. This is one. These are one of the coolest looking cars in the game, in my opinion, especially in certain colors. My luck, I've actually seen a couple that didn't look great because of the colors that were on it, but if you get a nice color on one of those Vulcans, man, they are beautiful. That's my opinion. Not, not everybody likes those, but I do. It's kind of weird, though. I'm having a really hard time getting in lobbies that have a lot of players. That guy's got a swap symbol. I don't want to swap. Let's try and race this guy. You win. Is he giving away free wins? I don't know. We'll find out. Doesn't matter. I'll beat him anyways. Because the Sesto is a beast. And he disconnected or something. More than likely it's going to tell me that the race is void. Hey, I won. That's kind of awesome when it actually gives you the win. When the other player disconnects, it's half the time it doesn't anymore. It used to always give you the win. But nowadays, it almost always makes you lose. It'll say race void or connection failed or race abandoned or something stupid. Even though you didn't abandon the race, that's what it seems to do. Fear the Reaper. Oh! I tried to try to challenge that guy, but then he was busy. That's the worst. I can't remember who I've challenged in here as far as those McLarens go. The seven snap guy, I'm pretty sure I raced him. It was either I raced him or my connection failed when I tried to race him. Alright, here comes somebody challenging me. And they are about to get beat up. I'm sure you guys will see why I like this car so much. As long as you got a couple stage 6 parts and a lot of fusions for this thing, it is a live racing monster. I think I just got a bad start. Guess it's not too bad. Wow, that's a really fast Ferrari Pista. Those things are usually really slow. I did get a I did get a lousy start though. I think I was running 9.1s. That time I got a 9.4. So I let go of the gas just a little bit too soon on that one. And it made me run slow. But I still won. So even if you screw up, this car usually wins. Hey, check it out. There's another Sesto. But he's got uh, the swap thing. So I'm not going to try and challenge him. Because I don't want to swap. Let's ch challenge this guy with the Chinese looking name. Or maybe that's Japanese. I think that, I don't know. Is it Chinese or Japanese? I believe that was one or the other. 
I can't actually remember which one writes like that. No. I should probably know that, but check this out. Let's go race this super snake. Hopefully he accepts. I wonder why he's got his line ID on there. Unless he's hoping somebody adds him to their crew or something. Three, two, one, go! Second, third, fourth. Fifth in nitrous. And I'm out of here. Yeah. I got the win. I am the winner. That's a nice win right there. I really do love this car. Alright, we hit rank 400 and something. I couldn't see what it said because it flashed off the screen so fast. 411? Yep, 411. There used to be a band called 311. Do you guys remember them? I wonder if they're still around. Well, he's got... I'm going to race you, but I'm not swapping there. I'm not swapping. I'm just trying to race and beat everybody. This should be a fun race. If this guy tunes his car right, this should be really close. Alright, so either uh, he's been winning a lot and he's in a slower lobby or he might not quite have it tuned right or maybe he got a bad start, I don't know. But I got it. I guess there's a million variables that could have happened as to why the guy ran slower. That's the one thing though is if you win too many races in a row it always pushes you into a really fast lobby where you can't win anything anymore. And that's a giant pain. That is a giant pain. Alright, Mr. Porsche, prepare to get beaten. Alright. I still think that car reminds me of a lawnmower or something because that spoiler is so big on the back. That is a huge wing. Huge wing. Alright. Ten keys. Can't complain about that. Yeah, yesterday live racing was so messed up I couldn't even really live race. All it did was disconnect and freeze. It was terrible. Seems to be doing better today. A lot better, actually. Alright, let's try and race this other T5 car with the purple stars. I don't know what car it is, but I'm going to beat it. I should probably get 20 to 30 wins before it pushes me into a much faster lobby. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one, let go. Second, third, fourth. Fifth and nitrous, and my opponent has disconnected. And it gave me the win, that's awesome. The last couple updates, it almost always made you lose when your opponent disconnected. Not a lose, but it didn't give you the win, it just said race abandoned or something. It took your gas and nobody got the win. So hopefully they've got that bug fixed. Alright, this guy has a swap symbol, but I'm not swapping. I think I just changed lobbies. I'm pretty sure it just pushed me into a different lobby, so you'll probably see my opponents running a little bit faster than they were a minute ago. So later today I'm going to have to try and reset this car because it's going to get to the point where it won't be able to get any more wins. As you notice I didn't win by as much as I did the last several races. So 
so it, it looks like either that guy's got a really good tune or it did push me into a faster lobby. We'll find out on the next couple of races here. All right, let's find somebody to race. Let's go ahead and race this Bugatti. I probably shouldn't have raced a Bugatti because more than likely those cars don't beat dyno time so this almost isn't fair but all right so he ran a he ran a pretty pretty good time 8.380, 9.382. Alright, let's find the next person to race. So I know some people are saying, why is it that I can't beat anybody? You know, either you're using a car that doesn't, doesn't beat Dino Time, or you're racing somebody who beats Dino Time more than you do. Kind of like this car. This car beats the crap out of everybody because it beats Dino Time by so much. That's why my car is destroying everybody. So until this gets pushed into a faster lobby, it wins everything. It wins every time. There's not very many cars that can actually beat this until this one gets put in the wrong lobby. Here we go. Yeah, I've definitely moved into the next lobby where everybody's faster. A few more wins and I'll be pushed into another faster lobby where cars run almost the same time as I do. And then if I keep winning in that lobby, then I get pushed into one where I won't be able to win at all anymore. Alright, let's go ahead and ch challenge this Audi R8. The R8s are really, really cool looking cars, aren't they? I wouldn't mind having one of those in real life just because they look cool. That's the 2016 R8 V10 Plus Coupe. I don't know if that's a good one or not. There's a lot of R8s in this game, surprisingly. Three, two, one, go. And I just got a bad start, didn't I? I got a bad start, and I still won. So that's good for me. Oh, somehow, I guess that wasn't a bad start, because I got a 9.0. That's cool. I must have got a really good start that time. He, see, he ran a 9.1. He ran even faster than the last couple guys. So he's got a really good tune on that car. Let's go ahead and race. Let's see. I've already raced that person. I've raced that person. All right, someone I haven't raced. Come open, please. Oh, where is everybody? I've already raced that guy. I don't want to switch lobbies because sometimes if you leave a lobby and you go back, it'll push you into the next faster one prematurely. I don't really want that to happen. Alright, so let's take out this Copo Camaro. I think the graphics have gotten way too good on this. They look way too nice. And unfortunately, I think we've got a connection error or something going on here. Yeah, he disconnected. 
Come on, give me the win. Don't screw me over. Ah, oh, we've frozen. We have frozen. See, these are the problems I keep having since, having since the last update. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to wait in this menu for a minute and see if it finally comes out of it. If not, I'm going to have to restart the game. Okay, so it completely froze up and I had to restart the game. So we're going back into a new lobby. Hopefully I haven't been pushed into the really fast lobby yet. If so, my car is going to start losing. Pete Rock wants to challenge me. So okay, Pete, let's go. And he's driving the Bugatti 110 ANS, which is a really cool Bugatti, but I still don't think it beats its dyno time, so I should be able to win this race. Unless he found some sort of tune which allows that car to beat dyno time. Some people find some great tunes for some cars. Ooh, that was close. I think it did push me into the next faster lobby, or he's got an amazing tune. So he ran a 9.2 and I not ran a 9.1 something. That was actually a really good race. Alright, let's take on the next person. I do think it pushed me into an even faster lobby, so I've probably got another 5 to 10 wins before I won't be able to win anything. Which kind of sucks, but hey, that's how it goes on this game. Then I gotta, then I'm gonna go ahead and just put this car back to all stage four, lose about five races, and let it set for another week. And at that point, it's reset. Ooh, I got it barely, barely. So, I'm, yeah, I'm probably only, only going to get a handful of more wins out of this car. Honestly, even though I'm winning, this is the lobby it should probably leave me in because my car is running similar times to the other people. But instead, it's going to push me to where people are doing, you know, probably about a tenth of a second faster than me next time. We got another Bugatti challenging me. You Bugatti guy should not challenge the Sestos. I know I wouldn't challenge one in my Bugattis, that's for sure. And that is why. Your car that doesn't beat Dino Time is challenging a car that beats Dino Time by a lot. So I think I've got about 15 wins so far during this live racing session. 15 times 2,000, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure that's a really big chunk of respect points. Probably a huge chunk. Alright, let's find someone else to race. Let's go ahead and race this Sesto Elemento. Now this actually might have a chance of beating me. That's a really good live racing car. And connection failed. Let's go ahead and ch Oh, the McLaren's busy. Um, let's challenge this person. Nope, someone got me first. Sure, I don't know what you're driving. Oh, it's a Vulcan. That's a nice color. Some of those Vulcans, though, some of those paint jobs on those Vulcans are so amazing, though. If I ever win a Vulcan, I hope I get a really, really cool paint job on it. Yes, Vulcans are very good live racing cars from my understanding. I don't have any personal ex experience with one, but I know a lot of people say that those things win live races like crazy. I can't confirm that, but that's what I've heard. And they sure do look nice. Well, I'm saving my gold keys for when that Cobra Jet, I think that's what it's called. That thing is supposedly going to run faster, sub 7 seconds, and it's going to be, you know, available for gold keys.
I really want a sub sec seven second car. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, I don't have that many bronze keys saved up, which stinks. And they're pretty expensive to buy, really. Ooh, I got the Copo. I wish keys were a little cheaper. I'll tell you that. I can't afford to spend a couple hundred dollars to max out a car. I really can't. That's why I don't really... I don't really buy stuff in this game. I can't afford it. It's too expensive. You know, I, I do watch a lot of ads, which actually supports the game. You know, they get money when people watch ads, so at least at least they're, you know, I think everybody should support the games when they like like the game and you play it all the time, but I just cannot afford to pay the the high prices, you know. I mean, you pay 20 bucks or 30 bucks for the car, then you got to buy a $5 park crates. I just can't do it. Or you gotta have a lot of bronze keys saved up. And nobody is here. Whoa, that's a really cool looking car in orange. I like that. I love that color of orange. That's amazing. But I guess we had a connection failure. Here comes somebody. Let's see if we can race that person. Bishop. Oh, he's running the Donker Root or whatever it is. Donker Root. He wants to race. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't do this. I'm going to go ahead and take that bet. I really shouldn't have done that. Because he might have some crazy tune, but... Oh, go, 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 go! Yes! I ran a really bad time, too. I was... I'm lucky... I am really lucky that I won that race. You know what? He did that big bet. I'm going to go ahead and bet him again. Alright. I'm about to win another big old chunk off of you, buddy. Unless you just... Unless he's hustling me. <laughs> Alright, come on, Sesto. Come on, Sesto. Go, Sesto. Go, Sesto. Go, Sesto. Go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I ran slow and he ran faster. So. Alright, so I think I lost a little bit of money there. That's alright. It happens sometimes. I should have stopped after the first one, but that's okay. It's definitely a big risk when you're in a lobby where everybody's w running similar times to you. It's a big ri risk to bet like that. Usually I refuse all bets like that. But I don't know. It's fun to do it every once in a while. It kind of gets your adrenaline going, I guess. So he came out ahead. If I would have ran a faster time, I would have won. I actually thought I won that, but it looked like I crossed the finish line first, but I guess I didn't. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, so let's go ahead and 
do a few more races. I still got a few more things of gas left. I think I might actually switch cars. I'm going to go ahead and pick the, uh, the Sesto Elemento. I'm going to retune this to stage four. That way I can get a few more wins. All right, we're, let's go ahead and I'm in the wrong place here. Hold on a second. I need to change everything to stage four. Stage four. Four. This is a beast of a live racing tune right here. Okay, everything's at stage four. I'm going to go ahead and leave the tune just like it is. I'm trying to remember how to drive this. I haven't driven it in a couple days, and I, I seem to have actually... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got a pretty normal shift pattern. Let's go ahead and race this guy. This car is going to beat everybody. I might actually go ahead and refill my gas tank one more time. Here we go. Come on, come on. That's crazy. This car is a beast on stage four. A beast. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Now I am making it a little bit less on the respect points because I removed went down to stage four because like I said you're uh, even the the performance points count all right I have lower performance points because I went down to stage four which means a little less RP per win so I'm making about maybe a hundred less per race but that's okay two thousand per race is still awesome This is this is just crazy. I'm not even gonna, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do something a little different. Okay, I'm not even going to get out of fourth gear. I didn't even leave fourth gear and I still won. This is the craziest live racing car there is, honestly. I mean, I've never seen anything that's able to beat Dino by this much. I don't know why it does it on stage four, but it sure does it. I, in a way, I kind of feel bad for beating people with this, but... I don't know, we got that wild card going and I want that RP. I don't think this guy is going to, going to accept. I would like to race Robo, but I don't think he's interested because he's a little bit busy right now. There's not that many people in this lobby. I don't know where everybody is. I just tried to race that uh, Bugatti there, the Legends one, but I couldn't. Let's try and race whatever this is. All right. I might kind of stall in gear in third gear for a second. Third gear, fourth gear, 
back to third gear and I still won this car is ridiculous this car is ridiculous I don't even know what the dyno time is actually but it's blowing it away I know that much this car is beating the dyno by something crazy let's race the Easter Bunny that's an excellent live racing car but I can guarantee you he's expecting to win this race if he accepts the challenge and the opponent has disconnected that's a really good live racing car as well yeah I think I'm just gonna do these last couple things of gas and then call it quits oh there's the new car I'm gonna run full speed on this one because Uh, I don't think he's going to accept. Racer refused, okay? Let's try and race this, this BMW here. Fordilla. He's got the M5 competition. So I'm going to go ahead and stall in third gear for a second, like I did on the last one. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into fourth. Yeah. That way it doesn't seem like I'm... I don't want people to think I'm cheating just because this car beats Dino by so much. So I don't want to beat people by like three seconds or whatever it is. Because that's just a little, a little too much. A lot of people probably don't realize you can... Ret you can tune this car. I just don't want to want people to think I'm cheating. Because most people that beat you by that much are usually cheaters. Alright. So. I'm going to go ahead and try it. I little walkers didn't I already didn't I already race this guy maybe not right okay one more one more race one more race yeah this is working out pretty nice I can still win without making it look like I'm cheating I guess this is technically what I would call a cheater tune because it beats Dino by so much but I mean, I, I didn't even have to retune it. All I gotta do is put it down to stage four and keep the normal tune, and it rips everybody apart. I didn't even leave fourth gear there. It's crazy. All right, I just got one more thing of gas, so I guess I'll finish off one more race. One more race. One more race. Let's go ahead and race this guy. Dardo, one, two, three, four, five. Prepare to get beaten unless I screw up my shift pattern thingy here three two one go 
We'll hang in third for a second. Fourth and nitrous. Fifth. And I messed it up and I lost that one, but that's okay. I hung in third gear just a little too long. Alright, so there's my live racing session, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.